Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to take a look at the Gemba Red Wheel. So the Gemba Red Wheel is our 5 meter strip light with 660 nanometer uh, SMD LEDs. Uh, this is different than our Gemba Red Rave, which comes kind of convenient plug and play with the USB connector. And uh, the Gemba Red Rave is obviously super handy plug and play, it's easy for, for anyone to use. Um, this uses kind of more specialized um, LEDs that are rated for 5 volts, so that way it's compatible with the USB charging port. Um, so you can really just plug and play with this one. The problem, the problem with the Rave is that because it's only 5 volts, you can only power so many LEDs before you max out the power rating from the um, power adapter. So you can really only get about up to like 10 watts out of this. Um, so that limits how long you can make the, the length of the LED strip. So it's great for travel, great for moving around, great for plug and play. Um, but if you want to move into longer strips, then you have to move into these 12 volt strip lights. Uh, so these require a little bit more work because uh, usually they just come uh, maybe they'll just come with two wires, and then you have to figure out how you're going to power this. Uh, typically, I uh, like to use this kind of external power driver, po uh, power adapter. Looks very similar to your uh, standard uh, adapter for your laptop or your computer. Um, so it's very similar concept. It converts the AC, you know, alternating current to the DC, and it brings the DC down to 12 volts so it can power up the strip light. Uh, so you can see it's rather long. I've already used some of this roll. So we're going to go, we're going to use some, but I'm going to unroll it and then I'm just going to show you how to plug it in. So we've got a red end and a black end so it's going to correlate to the positive and the negative on this connector piece. Uh, you need a little screwdriver. I'm going to loosen up the bolts. And then uh, push it in. And then clamp it down on one end. And then clamp, push in the other one for the negative. Clamp that down. So it takes, you know, an extra step, an extra tool, and then you should be able to plug it in. And then I'm going to plug in my power adapter to the wall here, and we'll be in business. So there we go. We're powering up. Oh, there we go. Probably need to make a stronger connection here. Okay, so now we've got the whole strip going, right? So you can see, definitely, you know, even though I've already used a big chunk of this, you get a lot more strip. Um, and so this guy, you know, I kind of, you have to make sure you find the right size adapter. So this is a 60 watt adapter, so it's uh, perfect to power the entire light strip. So adapters come in all shapes and sizes. You have to find the right size uh, to meet what you want to do. Um, the cool thing with this is you can do this for obviously lighting, you know, kind of the trim around your ceiling, around your walls, around uh, artwork, around frames, um, behind your TV, behind your, your things. You can cut it up into multiple strips and, uh, you know, kind of attach it to different power drivers, attach it all over the place. If you don't need, you know, one long five meter run, you can cut it up and put it in different places all over your house. So it's pretty cool. One thing, you know, you can really do is you can start to imagine some uh, opportunities to make a, uh, your own homemade kind of LED um, light therapy devices. So that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, so we're going to take a look 
We've already set this one up, and you can see it's quite a long run, but there's not, you know, there's not much opportunity to make it into a light therapy device. It's kind of a mess, kind of a big spaghetti ball. Um, so what we can do is uh, I've already made this. This is kind of my prototype uh, LED headband. So what I did was I took my strips and I cut them, cut them into different lengths, and then I reconnected them and re recombined them. And you can do that really easily. I can just show you. Um, you know, there's different cut lines, basically all the way along here with the little scissor marks. So basically, you can choose where you want to cut anywhere. You can cut along the line, and then I found these uh, connectors right on Amazon. So just different. Uh, it's an 8 millimeter connector, so it matches the width of this. And uh, again, you just want to make sure positive goes to the red and uh, negative goes to black. So you just slip this on so there's no, uh, so it's really nice, there's no soldering and there's no uh, you know, messiness. There's no uh, electrical skill set required really. So we clipped it in, and you see now it's got a kind of a break in it, and you can kind of fold it over to make your own. You know, you can see it's you can kind of fold it over and start your own little uh, LED panel almost. So we can plug it back in, and you can see where I make make the break just kind of extends it, and then like I said, you just kind of wrap it up up around. So if you have a bunch of these little strip connectors, you can see how you can keep on building and building, uh, wrapping it up around itself, and you can keep going and keep going. So I did this uh, six times to make my little headband. So again, just these eight uh, millimeter uh, connectors, just make sure both ends, you know, they have the plastic piece on both ends, because sometimes they only have on one end. So both ends, and then you can connect cut and reconnect, cut and reconnect, and keep making uh, different uh, DIY little panels. So that's what I did here. And so you can see my little headband lights right up. Everything's lit up. The, every, uh, the only thing was when I first set this up, um, you know, and you can see I just used some canvas, and I used some Velcro on this side, uh, really simple set up and then I used um, a ton of uh, fabric glue, super fabric glue, so that way the glue, when it sets, it's still flexible. So you use this uh, super duty fabric glue. And so I tested this out with my um, EMF meter. And when I first tested it out, I was actually pretty discouraged because you can hear it starting to click really high here and I don't know if you'll be able to see you can I'm not sure if what you're seeing but usually gets up to yeah it's up to 1600 1600 volts per meter and that's higher than I've seen in any LED device ever no, it's pretty high um, so that's not great. It's probably wouldn't use this for putting it on my head. Uh, it would probably give me more of a headache than any PBM uh, benefits. So it's, it's kind of discouraging. And then uh, I did end up buying a couple of these different adapters. I like to try different uh, power adapters, see how they perform, and test them out. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just try the other adapter that I got. So this is uh, actually the name brand one I thought it would do the best. And then this is more kind of a generic brand off brand uh, Jamco brand. Um, and I plug this one in. Still lights up, everything's just as bright. We go back on. Nothing's happening. Let's see if I can show you again. You can see nothing's happening, nothing's changing. It's like real low. It's like 50, you know, 50. And that's it. And that's 50. I don't know if you saw in my last video. Uh, 
that's kind of just the ambient voltage in this room. So if I just leave it on the table here, it drops down to practically nothing. Like it's not, it's not reading anything. So that's pretty crazy. So all that changed was actually the power driver is probably, <clears throat> you know, the other one was probably sending some stray kind of dirty electricity down into these LED area. And this one's probably a little bit better shielded <clears throat> from sending that along. So you can see, you know, that's what I always look for is I test different drivers, I test different LEDs and the configurations to see how do you get, you know, the safest and most effective uh, product out there. So now that I've, I've got all this sorted out, you know, I've got my LED strip and I can place it right on, on my head and I'm good to go. I've got my nice little LED headband and uh, this was inspired by the uh, Red Lights on the Brain kind of blog where they make kind of the buckets and they wrap the LEDs inside the buckets. Well, I was like, well, most of the real estate, the best real estate for, you know, red light therapy is right on your forehead, like right, you know, all this area, you know, you have thinner kind of skull area, you've got um, plenty of flesh here, you don't have any hair to kind of block the rays, so... Really, I just wanted to target my forehead with this and make kind of more of a comfortable kind of headband that I could wear while I'm chilling out. So, so there you go. I got a nice little headband right out of these uh, little strip lights and it's uh, super low EMF, so it's pretty great. All right, well, that's the demo, thank you.